this is Dr. Munyon with Exotic Vet Care and Ruth Bader Hensberg and I are going to show you how to do an injection on a chicken. The most common reasons we have to do this is either for administering an antibiotic, something to help with heavy metal toxicity, or pain medication. And the area that we like to do intramuscular injections in chickens is the pectoral muscles or the breastfeed. And so you will feel your chicken and you can feel a pretty prominent keel bone running down the center of their chest. I'm going to cut to the little bit. We're going to go over some anatomy for giving intramuscular injections. And what we're looking at here is not modern art. It is the keel bone right here down the middle and the pectoral muscles or breast muscles attached on the side. So we're looking at the chicken straight on as if there weren't any skin or feathers over the muscle. And when we're going to give the injections, usually what we do is we feel the keel, which is usually pretty obvious. It's firm and prominent. And then you just step off to the side where the muscle is and give the injection there. When you're going into the muscle, you have to go through the skin. So this is kind of a side view where we have the chicken skin up here and the muscle down here. And chickens don't have much of what we call a subcutaneous space. So the, it, they don't have much room between their very thin skin and down to the muscle. So when you're giving an intramuscular injection, you don't have to go very far. You just have to get through the skin and inject into this muscle layer down here. Once you've identified your injection area, which is the keel, and just step off to the side and you should feel some nice big muscle. You'll take your injection, have it ready, and then you will go ahead, again, identify your spot off to the side, take your injection and just pop in. You don't have to go very far. Again, they don't have very much sub Q space and their skin's very thin. You draw back on the syringe. Make sure you're not getting air or blood. If you're getting that, you're in the wrong place and need to pick a new spot. And then push the plunger and the medication is in. And you pull the syringe out and your chicken's all done until the next injection's due.